I'm just making this video today because a lot of people take apart their carburetor on their Tecumseh engine and then after they put it back on it just revs like crazy or doesn't rev high enough. I'm going to show you what can cause this. First of all, this little screw here on your throttle mechanism, if it's unscrewed too far, it's not going to rev high enough when the throttle lever is at full speed. So to correct this, you would screw this little screw in it. This one here is a little torque screw. Some have a slotted screw. And you don't want it to rev too high your engine because the connecting rod is going to blow. So just use your judgment. Sometimes over many years, the spring here and the spring inside this mechanism get weak. And sometimes you're not going to get full RPMs when the throttle is full. So you will have to screw this in. On the other hand, if your engine revs too high on full, just unscrew this little screw here. Now another thing I want to show you is this governor arm here. Sometimes people take off this screw here, take this arm off with the linkages, and sometimes when they put them back on, the thing isn't adjusted the way it used to be. So this governor arm here has the linkages from the throttle control and one goes to the carburetor. You can see it under here, right where my finger is. This, by the way, is the idle adjust screw. When you've got everything else adjusted right, you can turn this in to make it idle faster or to turn it out or turn it out to make it idle slower. So the linkages that go from the carburetor and the throttle control arm here go to that governor arm that I showed you previously. Now you can see the adjustment that it's slightly on an angle, this arm from this. The way to adjust this is by loosening this screw and then moving this arm out or in toward the carburetor. If you loosen this and move the arm toward the carburetor, it will run slower at high speeds your engine. If you loosen this and turn it the other way and then retighten the screw, it's going to rev probably too fast. So you want it adjusted just the way it is and I'm going to just show you quickly how to adjust that. So what you're going to need to do this is a Torx screwdriver number T15 and this is how you would proceed to adjust your governor if you think it's out of whack. You would hold this end, loosen the screw, always holding on to the arm. Then you would swing the arm in like this if you thought it was revving too high. So there you can see that it's more on an angle and I've tightened the screw. On the other hand, if it's running too slow at high speed, you would want to go the other way like this and then you tighten the screw. Right now I've got it straight. I'm going to put it back the way it was, which is just slightly angled toward the carburetor which is usually the correct setting for these. And again, there's a little nut under this here, under the screw, and that tightens. Make sure it's tight, and you always want a bit of play like that. This is a non-adjustable carb on this engine that I'm showing you, except for the idle adjusting screw here, which has nothing to do with the internal settings of the carburetor. So. A lot of people have been asking me about this problem, about high revving when the throttle's up or too low. So first of all, I would try the screw back here on the lever. If that doesn't do the trick for you, try adjusting the governor. If you have taken the carburetor off and have taken this whole mechanism off with it, then more than likely it's not adjusted right on installation. I hope this helps.